Psalms chapter 148. Praise ye the Lord. We talked about that last night. Ye, Y-E, is plural. It's not praise you the Lord. Praise ye. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. When all the astronauts and the cosmonauts get out into outer space and those that are in the, uh, whatever that satellite, the International Space Station, are they praising the Lord? Bible said from the heavens, praise ye the Lord in the heights when you're up on a ladder. You praising the Lord? Praise ye all his angels. And yet there are some angels that don't praise the Lord. They're the fallen ones. Praise ye all his hosts. That's everything. That's the cherubim. That's everything. That whoever those elders are. That's the universe itself. Praise ye the sun. And the moon. Praise him all ye stars of light. And we read last night that God knows all the stars by number and names them. Praise him ye heavens of heaven. Out there in the heavens there's principalities and powers in dark places. Ye waters that were above the heavens, that are be above the heaven. That's Genesis chapter one. That's the universe. That's not the waters here on, on planet Earth. It says above the heaven. So when you got a problem with the waters that are in Genesis 1, you now have a problem with Psalms 148, verse 4. Now, Leviathan that's swimming through the ocean is not like the old maps, the dragon swimming in the Atlantic or Pacific. That's above your head, the dragon. you got to get the Bible right. Let them... Everything we, we mentioned, praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded. And they were they were created. He commanded, the Bible says, and God said, let there. That was a command. Let there be light. God's commanded it. And it's so. How does the sun and moon and stars praise the Lord? That sun comes up when it's supposed to every morning. That moon comes up and, and has its different phrases according to what God said it would be. For signs, seasons, and, and days and months. That's how they that's how they praise the Lord. Some angels I said don't. The heavens. There are men in outer space that don't praise the Lord. There are men in outer space looking for the sign of evolution. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass. Again, that, that sun has a root, the moon has a root, the stars have a root. Designed and ordered by God. Praise ye to the earth, from the earth, ye dragons. Those are reptiles, lizards. I mean, there's one Pacific dragon, that's the devil, but that's all ye deeps, fire and hail, snow, vapors, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. So how does the rain, the fire, the snow and all that free, praise the Lord? It does exactly what God tells them to do. I want you to drown out that area. I want you to burn up that area. I want you to snow on that ground we read last night. I want, I think it was two days ago, they had great uh, hail up, up to the west of us in the land. Caused much damage. God ordered that hail. 
God had a purpose for that hail, and that hail did what it was supposed to do. That's praising the Lord. You know what praising the Lord, so far what we've seen in this chapter, is when you do what you're supposed to do, and already we've seen things that don't do what they're supposed to do, because there are men in outer space that don't praise the Lord, and there are angels that don't praise the Lord. Fire praises the Lord. There's a big uh, wildfire in California right now. With the foundation, would it be man, would it be the God, or would it be the devil? That fire was started by God. And God blows those Santa Ana winds, the wind. And when the disciples are on the ship and Jesus is asleep, and Jesus wake up, peace, be still, those waves, those winds, listen to him. And it, um, right now. And man thinks he's so great. Man thinks he's so number one. That sun is going to rot. You can look on your computer and say, tomorrow on August 23rd, where I live, what time is that sun going to get up? It will tell you in a.m. You can go a.m. and look. If it's not cloudy, that sun will come up at that a.m. point. If it's not cloudy. Even if it is cloudy, that sun's going to come up just because you don't see it. We're at one of the little phases of the moon. I go look out tonight, and that moon is going to be the phase that it's to be. You can look it up online. What, what phase is the moon going to be tonight? You look it up on your computer, and you go outside, it's going to be just like that. Tell a man to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Oh. Tell a Christian to read his Bible. Uh, mountains and all hills. Fruitful trees and all cedars. Oh, they praise the Lord. Beasts, plural. <coughs> all cattle. You know, the cattle, the calves all praise the Lord while man praises the cattle. It was a calf that, that Aaron made. It was a calf that India worshipped. It's the calf that Egypt worshipped. It's the calf that everybody goes and get chicken except for on Sundays that doesn't know how to spell chicken. It's the calf of the computer. Uh, one brand of computer you can get. Well, it's funny how all kinds of things that, that calf and the sign of that calf and the black and white colors and all that. Oh, you didn't like the you didn't like the chicken joke. It wasn't a joke. Creepy thing. You know what pests and bugs us? That little fly that's pestering around. Well, that's a symbol of the devil. That praises the Lord. Don't ask me how, I don't. But God's given one of the illustrations in the book of Proverbs about ants and how worthy and hard workers they are. And flying fall. Birds. Praise the Lord. Kings of the earth. Well, you see, we're in America. We got a president. And then you call yourself a Bible nation. You don't know where the three presidents are in the Bible. And you don't know what the, what the context of those three presidents are in the Bible. We don't have roots in Alexandria and, and Egypt and, and Babylonian Rome. Yes, you do. When you got a president, you coming out of Babylon. And look at the architecture of your White House that follows the Roman architect, which also follows the Babylonian architect, which is nothing Christian. Because for the Christian in the Bible, in Jesus and the apostles, there's nothing architect. It's not a building. Like you would go and find the, the temple in the Old Testament. 
I know you hate when I teach the Bible. Kings of the earth and all people. Okay, we don't have a king. All people. All people. Saved or lost, both to praise you the Lord. So when you stand at either judgment, whether you're saved or you're lost, the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, you did not praise the Lord, <coughs> you're going to be found guilty. What makes you say that? What did we just read? What did we read in Psalms 147? Psalms 148. What will we read in Psalms 149? The Lord tarries. What shall we read in Psalms 150? The Lord tarries. Oh, I don't know how to praise the Lord. You better get your nose in the Bible and read the Bible and study the Bible to find out how to praise the Lord. And it's not making lies of the Bible. And it's not having stories outside the Bible. Princes and all judges of the earth. Whoa. All right. I know what you're thinking. You know, the judge that stands at the thing. Hear ye, hear ye. I declare you guilty. All judges. So I'm, I'm preaching on the street. And I'm, I'm declaring the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. A woman or somebody comes up to me. Judge not the ECB judge. Hey, judge. Praise ye the Lord. I ain't judging. You're judging me. <clears throat> by saying judge not, we should be judged. You're judging me not, not on what I'm doing wrong. All judges. That's Christians too. Because Paul says, though we are not to judge people, we're to judge things. And do you not know that we will judge angels one day? So that's not the guy that wears the, the black robe only. That's Christian. That's all people. Do you have a motor vehicle license? You're a judge. You got to judge what that red light means and what that green light means. Even if you run to the red light, you still are supposed to judge. You are supposed to judge that, okay, am I supposed to use cooking spray for the, for the cupcakes? Or am I used to use bug spray for the cupcakes? That's judging. All judges. Everybody's a judge. Both young men and maidens, women, old men, and children. Has this chapter left anybody out? Actually, it does. Where is the marine life? But you can say all deeps in verse 7. But he mentions dragons. He mentions the birds. Uh, flying fall in verse 10. Beast. Okay, well, I don't know what really beasts are called, but marine life. Where is the marine life? And yet, what animals does man say you got to say? You got to save the marine life, the whales, the, the manatees, the seals. And as far as I see, Psalms 148, if it's the deeps, okay. But other than that, I, I see reptiles, verse 7, dragon. Or fimbians, what do you want to call them? I don't know what the class is. The lizard. I see lizard and bugs, creepy things. But I don't see marine life. And when Jesus came to pick out the first four of the disciples, he picked fishermen. He said, be ye fishers of men. Do you know which cherubim is missing in heaven? Which class of cherubim where you have the face of the man that's mankind you have the eagle that's over here in verse number 
10, the body and cloud. Oh. You have the lion, which is the beast, verse 10. You have the ox or cherub. That would be beast in uh, verse 10. You don't have a reptile, lizard, or fish. But the Philistines do, called Dagon. You got a dragon in Revelation chapter 2, the old serpent, the devil, Satan. Something about that reptilian class that, you know, you got to go to school and learn about dinosaurs. And yet we don't we don't believe in the gap theory. Well, where are the dinosaurs? Well, they died out in the ice age. Genesis one, two. Where did the dinosaurs live? Genesis one one. Genesis one two. They were matching with their dragon leader. And their fish head god, Lucifer. I'm sorry you don't believe the Bible. I'm sorry you're wrong. And well, we're, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the, the 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 dinosaurs in Noah's Ark. How on earth did you get a brontosaurus on that dimension of that ark? The brontosaurus was longer than Noah's Ark. Well, we got proof. You ain't got nothing. All right, you got one brontosaurus. You're going to get two Transaurus Rex on that arc. You're going to be missing some pairs and sevens of, on that arc when you open up that door. Because it takes a lot of food to feed those animals. Well, you know, Sally, they were all, they were all plant eaters, remember? They didn't eat meat till after they came out of the arc. But the people knows about the, the dinosaurs said they ate meat. And then there were dinosaurs that ate trees. Boy, you got a big missing gap there. If no one ate meat until Noah stepped out of that ark, what do you got meat eating dinosaurs? So outside the deep, which could be, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not afraid to say I don't know. Psalms 148 does not mention marine life. And marine life, reptiles and amphibians and all that are Lucifer, the fifth death cherubim. You gotta believe the Bible before you believe anything else. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. Not Allah, not Buddha. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Nothing higher than the name of, of name of God. God says I he exalted his name even above his word, or his word above his name. So there's the word, then there's the name of God. He also exalted, lifted up the horn of his people. That's not America. The praise of all his saints. That's me. Even of the children of Israel. There's Israel, God's people. A people near unto him, Israel. Praise ye the Lord. So, except you're a marine animal, you need to praise the Lord. 